Somebody please cue that boy. The Mariah Pizza Cat. Oh, yeah! Who do you call when you want some pepperoni? The Mariah Pizza Cat. Right on! They're stepping out crime, and you know that ain't baloney. They're Speedy Ceviche, he's the leader of the bunch. That's right! A heck of a fighter uh, makes a heck of a lunch. Uh, and little polyester, who's never afraid of going into battle with the bad guys in vain. Here's Guido Anchovy, a wild romantic rover. This cat gets down, down with a love hangover. Here <laughs> They're so bad, they've got more fur than any turtle ever had. <laughs> Stronger than old cheese. Who's lower than low? It's a rotten yeah, yeah, shame. Yeah. He lives in little Tokyo. We've got a nasty bad bird and some nasty ninja crows. As soon as someone finds a script, we might begin the show. Sit right back, kick up your feet, and turn the sound up high. And if you want the full effect, go eat a pizza pie. <laughs> Shamrocks are green. When I think of you, I get a tingling in my spleen. Wow, I can't wait to see Lucille's face when she reads this beautiful poem I wrote for her. What an awesome display of verbal dexterity. This could be my ticket to Cupidville. <laughs> Look, you overgrown twig, if I wasn't in such a hurry, I'd squeeze a sap out of you. <clears throat> Is that any way to treat a samurai? I wrote it myself. Oh, very interesting. Impressive, isn't it? It describes my thoughts about you. Do you mean to say that I remind you of a large pepperoni pineapple deluxe with extra olives? <clears throat> Holy jumping Szechuan! I gave you the wrong note. That's my delivery order. Oh, what happened to my love, Paul? Calm down, Speedy. I'll fix a bite to eat. Lucia, wait! Boy, this is really embarrassing, Lucille. Don't say that. I think anybody could have made a dim-witted, contemptuous blunder like that. Do you really mean that? Why, of course. And just to show you that there's no hard feelings, I'm inviting you to join me on a little shopping spree tomorrow. <laughs> Do I take it that means you'd like to go? Well, I'll scan my senses. Of course I'd like to go. I'll be there! And you can bet your tempura pants on that one. hee 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 my, what prolific language. Back at the shop, one nipped cat takes a nap and dreams away. <laughs> I'm cutting out with that tickle. <laughs> What's going on? Well, he's got a lot on his mind, so I thought he might want to turn things over in his head. That should give him a new outlook. I've always said all Sleepy had was a man of letters, like X and O. Gee, I can't hold up this leaning tower of pizza any longer. <laughs> that wasn't too smart. <clears throat> what do you mean? I was only trying to put a hole in your head because you said we should be more open-minded. Besides, landing on your head can be mentally stimulating. How'd you like to get stimulated by a knuckle sandwich, pal? Boy, oh boy, do you two have a lot in common. One's ice cold and the other's not so hot. I'm glad I'm off tomorrow so I won't have to see any of you. Wrong again. You're on duty tomorrow, Speedy. <laughs> oh, wait a minute, I made plans with Lucille. But you and Polly have to transport classified documents tomorrow. The documents? Did I goof this time? How could I have forgotten an important assignment like that? Well, gang, here's another fine mess I've gotten myself into. As night falls over Little Tokyo, a sad and lonely pizza cat reclines upon a rooftop and tries to balance the opposing weight between the pressures of his duty and the yearnings of his heart. The only way that I'm going to resolve this is to be in both places at once, and there's no two weights about it. Well, here we go. Lucille! <gasps> here I am, Speedy. Gee, I hope I'm not late. I just got here myself. What do you say we go for some ice cream? As soon as we're done with shopping. Isn't this fun, Speedy? Yeah, thrilling. Gosh, Lucille, this sure is one swanky men's shop. Mm -hmm. 
I chose this place because I wanted to get the best. Oh. Well, that's the right size, but these colors are gross. Hold still. Mm -mm, mm -mm, don't move. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Mind if I ask you what all this fancy suit stuff is all about? I'll tell you later. I'm trying to concentrate right now. Hmm. Gee, it's time for me to go meet Polly. What? Yeah, I said I feel so jolly. <laughs> Listen to me, Lucille. I have something to tell you about myself that I've never told anyone else before. Do you think you can handle it? Yes, what is it, Speedy? Well, you see, each day at about this time, I have to go back to the pizza shop and eat a large bowl of anchovy paste or I turn into a pumpkin. Oh! <gasps> yep, that's the scoop, so I gotta hit the trail out of here. Uh, but don't worry about me, because I'll be back before you can say Cinderella Samurai Blues, Lucille. Cinderella Samurai Blues. I meant in Swahili. Ciao, babe. Oh. I'd hate to miss Polly and have her complain how she's been stood up more times in the Star Spangled Banner. Then I'd better kick into overdrive. It's so typical of Speedy to be late again. Me, me. What in the world? If that's the Roadrunner, I'm getting out of here. It's Speedy. Put your brakes on. My brakes are on, but nothing's happening. That explains everything. Somebody do something. Call out the paramedics. The army! The Marines! Oh, oh. Well, at least I'm here. Yeah, and that poor statue's in shambles. That makes two of us. Hey, what kind of a way is this to transfer documents? This uh, is an undercover operation. <laughs> so why are the shopping bags full of mozzarella cheese? We have to look inconspicuous while we're in this section of town. How oh, ingenious. In the meantime, I'm ready to collapse. After delivering the papers to the Federal Bureau of Samurais, Polly and Speedy take a short breather. <laughs> well, that was an easy assignment, wasn't it? Oh, yeah, piece of cake. Whoops, it's that time. Polly, it's been swell, but I gotta go because there's this pressing engagement that demands my attention. No way, we still have other assignments and we have a code that says you can't take off until we're done. Ooh. Unless you're engaged in the pursuit of a criminal. Hmm? <gasps> Is that the big cheese over there? Yeah, right. No kidding, you better take a cab back to the pizza shop while I find out what this mindless menace is up to. Mindless menace, my foot. I hope your brakes fail again, bucko! Sometimes I amaze myself with my superior mental spontaneity and overall spunk. Well, this place looks pretty trendy. <laughs> Ready to order? Why don't you go first and remember this is my treat, Lucille. Actually, I'm not all that hungry. So I'll just begin with the oysters Rockefeller, followed by the soup du jour, and of course your special Caesar salad. And then the stuffed veal cordon bleu with a side order of crepe Suzette. And I'd just love to try one of your chef's premier fondues, okay? Oui, madame, and for monsieur. <laughs> just more water, thanks. <gasps> As the hours tick away, Speedy continues to dart back and forth across town like a battered ping pong ball, executing his capricious plan designed to maintain his amorous friendship with Lucille while fulfilling his commitment to duty with Polly. That's one way to develop a split personality. Oh, just what I need. Uh, uh, nothing picks you up like a little H2O. Hey, what's the matter with this thing? Come on! <clears throat> Whoops, now what am I doing? Hey, who, what, how, when, who, 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 Look out! Whoa, who, what happened? I, uh, oh, what do we have here? State your destination and come into the car! All right, I'd like you to take me over to the pizza shop. Pizza shop is down near Bora Bora. Never mind. Just get this thing rolling and we'll see where we are when we get there. Just sit back and fasten your seatbelt, please. Hey! Hey, don't you believe in obeying the speed limit? Slow down! I can't imagine who built a thing like this, but I bet I'm gonna find out. Right here it is in a nutshell. I'm this great poet, see? So what you've got here is a poet in motion. <laughs> it's you! It's you! I know that sneeze! It's you! Hey, watch it, that's my slave. Well now, it appears I've arrived just in time to uncover another covert operation. It's you! 
Just what are you trying to do, cheese? Well, I'm trying to give the audience some interesting visuals to look at while you're sneezing so this doesn't become that old story of much and chew about nothing. We all saw that one coming, didn't we? Stop it! It's time for us to put our sinister plot into action. You're absolutely right. Go on. Construction of the hot tub robot is complete, and it's ready to scare the population into joining our health spas. <laughs> That makes me mad. You know, I wish that just one time Speedy would show up when I need him. Boy, that was fast. Hurry, we've got to get to the shop. The pizza cats are needed at once. Hi again, all you pizza adventurers, all you regulars, newcomers, and conventioners. We've got to move fast, so watch out for the blast. And hold on to your teeth or your denture earth. Oh, well. Yes, when Judy calls, they respond in a fiery flash. This trio of fearless crime fighters are really hot stuff. Let's wait here till they get back so you can return Speedy's poem that we found. Well, if this is poetry, I'd have to say that rhyme doesn't pay. You're right, and neither did that atrocious pun, madam. But at least we know what became of that letter. Hey, could I give it to my English teacher? Come on, let's turn this baby loose. Not, not so, so fast, fast turkey. turkey. You're not going anywhere with that gizmo. We'll see about that, Spot. Come out into the open and show yourself. <laughs> Thanks for the invitation. We are the sworn defenders of justice. Our mission is clear, to maintain peace for all. We conquer the forces of evil, and we love to see them sent away. So you better run for cover, because one thing is clear. The, the Samurai, Samurai Pizza, Pizza Cats, Cats are here. here. I'm really sick and tired of looking at your faces. Now get lost. Yeah? Let me tell you something, Cashew Brain. The only thing wrong with your face is you can see it. All right, Adam, boy, speedy up. Well, just for that, I'm going to unleash the most hideous mechanism of mindless brutality ever assembled. You are pathetic! Attention! Activate the molecular audio vex officer at once! <laughs> See to elevate to street level! Hurry! You're gonna miss the floor show! It won't be one, cause it's curtains for you, bad bird! What are we gonna do? Let's join a house, Paul! Baby, where are you? And now, here's a special number just for you cats. Roll out the barrels and drop them on the pizza cats. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> teach that thing to speak properly. We understand each other just fine. And it's because you're always taking things for granted. <laughs> Oh, I forgot to tell you. There's an invisible force field. Now let's put those barrels in motion and have some real fun, gang. It's time to play Run For Your Lives. Hey, come on. I mean, I believe in doing plenty of exercise to keep fit, but don't you think this is a little too much? Please make it stop. No more. Come on. <laughs> this is great. Maestro, if you please. <laughs> Baby, won't you bring them on home? Great Scott! It looks like the tides have really turned against the Samurai Pizza Cats this time! Come on, baby, one more for the roll! What a revolting development this is! Bad Bird and his hot tub robot are having a barrel of laughs as they continue to wear down our courageous heroes! No ordinary cats could endure such punishment! And now, everyone, it's time for the grand finale! Suck it to me, baby! <laughs> <laughs> well, it looks like you three are getting a well-rounded education. My cat ball energy's almost depleted. I don't believe any of us can last much longer. I better call Francine on the cellular cat bell. Not so fast, Speedy. What? <laughs> Bad bird, you're really getting me upset. You have to admit that hot tub robot is really getting those pizza cats all steamed up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ready for a nice long cat nap, huh? Do you think you can help me out with something? Well, I'd like to, but I'm all tied up. Oh, well, I just wanted to know if any of you happened to see Speedy Ceviche. He was supposed to meet me here about now. <gasps> Maybe I missed him. He's been acting very strangely and kept disappearing on me all day long. <laughs> 
So that's what all that running around was about. All right, keep your shirt on. I didn't miss one single assignment all afternoon. I'm beginning to feel terribly upset all of a sudden. Yeah, I, you know what that means, Petey. Yeah, get there to blow a fuse could just work to our advantage. <laughs> Excuse me, is that a new dress you're wearing? Yes, as a matter of fact, it is. Yeah, well, that guy behind you said it was so loud you should have got a muffler with it. Oh! <gasps> And furthermore, he said that he never forgets a face, but in your case, he'd be willing to make an exception. <gasps> yeah, he said you look like a million dollars, all green and wrinkled. That's right, and those were the nice things he said about you. Of all the obnoxious, arrogant, egotistical individuals I have ever encountered, that really tweaks my toes. Oh, wait, I'm innocent. Give me a chance to explain. You got it all wrong. I've never been so insulted in my entire life! You creep! What a relief! That feels better! Oh. How can she do that? She just has an explosive personality. Now there's a pun that's not worth explaining. Quirk! Attack those pizza cats immediately! Ooh, if there's one thing that gets me mad, it's a mindless, reckless robot whose only purpose is to attack and exploit innocent people! I think we get the point. And speaking of superior sideways, someone or something is about to get the point of Speedy Sword. Yes, the powerful magical Ginju Sword that was handed down to him by a great samurai warrior and part-time sushi chef. Watch now as Speedy wields its electrifying power like nobody's business. The great Speedy Ceviche, a legend in his own mind. Ginju power! Oh, wait! Getting out of this place! <laughs> yes! Another pizza cat victory! Ta -da! Ta -da! But why does it always happen to me? I can't take it anymore! That's it! That really brings me up! <laughs> Thanks for the birthday present, Lucille. You're the best sister anyone could have. And look, it fits just right. How did you manage to guess my size? It's perfect! <laughs> I took a friend with me who happens to be the same size. Thanks for coming shopping with me, Speedy. Hope you didn't mind me using you for a guinea pig. Oh, yeah, no problem. Anytime. <laughs> yeah, right. Give me a break. Hey, Speedy, I got something for you. A little surprise. Well, actually, it's been in my closet forever, but I figured you might need some cheering up. Thanks a lot. Hey, what makes you think I need cheering up? Because I spoke to Lucille and she gave me the whole story in a nutshell, baby cakes. Well, don't do me any favors, all right? Okay, fine. Good to see everything's back to normal again. Yes, it's touching, isn't it? But if I don't care... Neither do I. Yes, it's another storybook ending in the ongoing saga of the Samurai Pizza Cats, the heroes who always land on their feet. And our next... Cats! After another fruitless afternoon of romancing Lucille, Guido and Speedy are late for work and expect Polly to be mad. But much to their surprise, Polly is understanding and offers them tea instead. Quick, call the border police! As Guido and Speedy wonder about Polly's weird transformation, we discover the real reason. She's decided to change her image and has enrolled in Miss Rotina's modeling school. But the seemingly innocent school is actually a front for Big Cheese's latest caper. To beat the pizza cats, he's developing a legion of ninja models who are loyal only to him. Sometimes I'm so brilliant I scare myself. Polly discovers the plan and calls the pizza cats into action. But Big Cheese unleashes his latest robot, the Long Tall Sally, against our fearless heroes. Will our heroes defeat the malevolent mechanism? Will Big Cheese get his legion of ninja models? Will Polly make the cover of popular crime fighting? Find out next time in Samurai Bridal School on the next Samurai Pizza Cats. Ladies and gentlemen, the Samurai Pizza Cat Fan Club Oath. The Pizza Cats are Samurai. And I'd like to note... Their antics take your breath away. Like fur balls in your throat. We kittens are a special breed. We never call a retreat. Whenever Big Cheese knocks us down, we land upon our feet. 
So hail to thee, O Pizza Cat. Please ring your little bell. Although you may be pen and ink, we know you'll fight like Pizza Cat! Hope you like the show, it's the best that we could do. Come on, right, it's a guess. If you could do better, then we'd leave it up to you. Just a reminder, you might like to know, the cats will be back for another big show. <laughs> oh, gosh.